Here we're going to look at our projected total input costs for the year. And this is basically going to be our seeds, our soil, our sanitizers, and our packaging and labels. And so we took a look at some of this stuff uh, earlier. We took a look at our soil and our sanitizer uh, and our packages. So this is just breaking them down into how that's going to look throughout the whole season. So one thing I do is typically we tend to summarize things at the bottom of a page. Uh, interesting convention because it's generally the first thing I want to see. So you can see I've done that up top here. So we've got a good sense right away of what our input costs are. That's the general thing I want to know. Then I want to take a look at the breakdown to understand what that looks like. So for example, we have our 8,000 trays. This is the volume per tray. And so we're going to need 66 yards of soil. Uh, you remember, and what I often do is go back and check, is that right? I thought it was 71. No, that's right. Oh, yes, we switched our multiplier from 40 to 30. So I do a lot of double checking to make sure I haven't made any glitches here. We know our price per yard, so we're looking at about $5,500 uh, in soil costs there. Let's take a look at our seeds now. Seeds are a little more complicated because each seed is different. So let's take a look at sunflower. We need, and oh, you can see this is all orange, so these are all calculations here. This is just a reference sheet. 2,800 trays at 135 grams of seed per tray, which means we need 382 grams, kilograms of seed altogether. The bag size is 10 uh, kilograms, so we need at least 39 uh, bags, and we don't need 38.2. Uh, our bag price with delivery is 72.99. And so we need, we know all together, this is what we're going to have to pay. So we d we've done this for each crop and it breaks each one down uh, based on the season. Now, I don't necessarily need to buy 39 bags at a time or 40 bags at a time. I can do it in two batches of 20. Uh, if you've listened to some of my podcasts or workshops uh, with, with Diego Footer, um, one of the advantages of buying bulk is you're often getting a better price. You're getting a better price on delivery. And if it's a seed lot you really like, you're getting as much of that seed as you can get at a time. I won't get into that now, but th there you can see it's a very simple breakdown based on our, our, our crop planner to determine how much seed and what our cost is going to be for the year. For sanitizer, so here what I've done is um, I've drawn from... Um, we, we have a sanitizer calculator that comes later. But we have our same number here, the volume of seed we're using. Uh, so we need one milliliter of sanitate per trade, uh, per tray basically. Um, uh, sorry, this is actually just a, a sanit yeah, sanitate per tray, um, but we're doing multiple trays. So we're doing uh, at four cents per milliliter. We need 2.866 liters of sanitate over the course of a season, and this gets uh, diluted. Uh, so that's going to cost us $100 for sunflower alone. This much for pea, this much for radish. So it breaks it all down there. So we're looking at about $300 for the season, about eight and a half liters. Now let's get into our uh, bags and labels. Works the same way. We know the number of um, trays. This is broken down, though, into small, medium, and large. So our small units are getting clamshells, which have a higher price. And you can see we're drawing from our crop input costs here. And you could change this. We're drawing from cell C39. Let's just take a look at that here. Cell C39 for clamshells. And if I put another, I could do like a cheaper clamshell here, and we could shift that number around. Um, and then our roll bags is going to be another one. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, F39 here. So that's going to be for a different calculation. So for the for the for the uh, the medium units, I used uh, the big bags price, and for the large units, I used the big bag price as well. So I used the lower priced packaging for the medium and the large, and I used the, the smaller uh, packaging price for the small units, and I did that for each of the, of these here as well. So this breaks down your packaging by size and by crop. So this is a fairly accurate uh, thing, and you can see. Uh, our clamshell cost, if we're doing retail clamshells, is quite significant. We're doing 4,900 small units, and we're $5,800. We're doing almost the same number of large units, and it's, you know, like a tenth of the price, less than a tenth of the price. So it really, it, it, it's one of those things at this point where you might go like, huh, how much do I really want to do grocers and package clamshells for the farmer's market? What the Food Peddlers does is we use these large bags for the farmer's market and we package to order. 
And the reason we, the multiple reasons that we do that, and sorry for the aside here, but this is where these tools come in really handy, is if you prepackage your, your stuff into clamshells at the market, people can only take the, the mixes you give them, so either a straight crop or a mix that you've chosen. You need to spend time packing beforehand, and you need to pay a premium price for that packaging. Now, if you've done a farmer's market and you're selling a lot of microgreens, or primarily microgreens, and it's prepackaged, you are going to spend most of that farmer's market just standing around doing nothing. And so by packaging at the market, you're going to be more busy, which is going to keep you a little more entertained. But the busier you are around your stall, generally the more likely people are to come and visit you. If you're just standing there looking bored, it's not going to attract people to your stall. The other thing is we're using these larger bags, which are much, um, much less expensive, but they're also much easier to pack and you can package to order. So if somebody wants a 50-50 mix of sunflower and pea, and that's not a mix you do, you just do it custom for them. And people really appreciate that. So this is a really strong, gives you a strong case for use as little clamshells as possible. And one of the ways you can do that is by uh, avoiding prepackaging for the farmer's market. So we've got all our, um, our, our stuff here. And once again, this is all feeding from previous information. You can see we've got $6,300 in packaging. So after seed, it looks like that's our most significant cost. Is uh, It's very, very significant. So reducing that packaging, which as you know, is going to reduce waste as well, even though most of that packaging is recyclable, uh, you're going to be much better off. So this gives you a sense here, again, once again, like these are going to be my, uh, my production costs that are going to fluctuate, or my variable costs uh, that, that will fluctuate with production. But based on my, once again, my desired revenue, what I think I'm going to produce to make that revenue, this is going to be the cost I'm going to have to bear to do that. 